guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys my three go-to hairstyles for greasy hair. Right now, I am currently pushing like seventh or eighth day hair. Yeah, it's been a week since I last washed my hair and it is just so dirty right now. I literally feel like a dirt squirrel. I'm probably going to go wash my hair after this tutorial, but since my hair is greasy, I thought I would sit down and show you guys my three go-to hairstyles whenever my hair is greasy and I just need it out of the way and I don't have time to wash my hair. So if you would like to see how I achieved these three hairstyles, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start off by spraying my hair with some Batiste dry shampoo. Even though I literally went and washed my hair right after this video, I desperately needed some dry shampoo because my hair was just disgusting. So I'm just going to rub that in to blend it all out. And then I'm going to brush through my hair with a hairbrush just to make sure there's no knots and tangles. So for the very first hairstyle, I'm going to start off by sectioning the top section of my hair and I'm just going to clip that out of the way. This is the section of hair we're going to be working with, so you just want to clip the rest of your hair out of the way so it doesn't get mixed up. So for this hairstyle, we're going to create a French braided bun. So instead of doing the French braid at the bottom of your bun, I'm going to start by adding it to the top of my bun just to create kind of like this bun mohawk -y effect. So to create, a fresh style, or to create a French braid, we're going to split the hair into three pieces and instead of crossing the hair under to create a Dutch braid, we are going to cross the hair over the middle strand while adding in pieces of hair to kind of get this French braided effect. Once that section of hair is all braided, you're going to tie it off with an elastic band and then I'm going to start to clip in my Foxy Locks extensions. So for this look, because my bun is going to be at the top of my head, I'm going to take two two clip wefts and two three clip wefts and I'm going to clip them in upside down. This will help to the wefts lay flat to your head and to make sure that they don't poke out and it's a lot more comfortable on the scalp when wearing your hair up into a ponytail when your clips are facing the direction your hair is going in. So once all my clips are secured, I'm just going to brush my hair up into a high ponytail and I'm going to secure that with an elastic band. Once secured, I'm going to create a messy bun. Now you can leave your hair like this in a ponytail if you want, but I like to put my hair up into a bun whenever it's greasy, so I just kind of created this big messy bun with my extensions. Again, you can do this with your short hair. You don't have to clip in hair extensions, but I like the big voluminous bun that it gives me when my hair extensions are clipped in. So once my bun is secured, I then pull out some few pieces around my face just to make it a little bit more messy and effortless. And there you have it, a French braided bun. So for the second hairstyle, I'm going to create a French braided fishtail braid. And I'm going to use the same two two clip wefts and two three clip wefts. And I'm just going to stack them on top of each other working up my head. Just in the middle because that is where the braid is going to be. And then I'm going to brush through the hair to make sure there are no knots and tangles and to kind of blend my hair with the extensions a little bit more. Then I'm going to grab a small section of hair at the crown of my head and I'm going to separate that into three strands of hair and I'm going to start creating a French braid. I don't know what's going on with me lately. Before I used to love Dutch braids but now I am obsessed with French braids. So again with French braids, you're just going to cross the hairs over the middle strand while adding in pieces of hair. And I'm going to do this until I reach about halfway down my head and then I'm going to stop and I'm just going to continue with a three strand braid all the way down and secure that with an elastic band. Once that's secured, I like to get a little bit more tricky with my hairstyle and I'm going to do a fishtail braid over that braided section. So this will kind of give your hairstyle the effect of a French three strand braid going down into a fishtail braid. And once my fishtail braid is complete, I'm then going to secure that with an elastic band. I noticed that I had big chunks of my bangs just kind of hanging out there and because my hair was greasy, I was like, nah, not happening. So I then went and pinned my bangs out of the way and underneath the braid and there you have it. 
the next hairstyle, I removed the top two wefts and left one two clip weft and one three clip weft at the bottom of my head. And this I'm going to create more of a Dutch braided updo. Now this is probably one of my favorite updos for the holiday season. And I love doing this when I just want my bangs out of my face. So what I'm going to do is I'm grab, going to grab the front section of my hair and create a Dutch braid with three strands of hair. So this is different from a fish, or I keep calling them French braids, fishtail braids. So this is different from a French braid. The Dutch braid you're going to cross the hairs underneath the middle section. Where a French braid you're going to cross it over. So once my Dutch braid is complete, I'm going to secure it with an elastic band and then I'm going to gather all of the hair that is remaining and I'm going to secure it to the side of my head with an elastic band and kind of create this big voluminous messy bun. And then I'm just going to pin all of my hairs into place just to kind of make my messy bun look a little bit more neat. And then I'm going to grab my braid and I'm going to pin that into the bun. And there you have it. have it guys my three go-to hairstyles for greasy dirty hair let me know down in the comment section below what you thought of this tutorial and remember to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you haven't already please subscribe to join my little family we are growing so quickly and honestly I'm just so grateful for each and every one of you watching this video I love you guys to the moon and back and I will see you in next week's video bye